Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another slight mini vlog. So today is a mean, a little bit of a weird one. This is a sit down and a little bit of a, an afternoon, morning slash afternoon day in life. So, this is not long enough. Help. So I need to have a shower and whatnot, but that was my day later. I need to um, get the time back to some emails. I need to. Just take some medication, take some time away from situations, um, and talk about things that are going on in my life at the moment. Um, there's been a few up and downs, and obviously that's been done. And I'm gonna ignore the people that don't make time for me. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how showing your emotions is something that isn't easy, especially if you have the conditions that I have. I have some laundry that I need to put away. I need to make plans for people and just get on with my life and whatnot. So, welcome back. Let's get into today. I need to get my sugar monitor and take some medication. So, I'm back in two minutes. So, right, so this is literally the medication I take every day. So, I have morning, afternoon, and then evenings. Yes. And this is a brand new pot because obviously I need to redo my meds. I think you can see there's quite a lot of medication in all of these. So in the morning one I have my medication that is for the morning and then I have the afternoon which I need to take my afternoon ones because I already took my morning ones because it's on my Tuesdays and it's not even Tuesdays I think. No, Thursday. Oh well, I take them in the whole day. Who cares? Wake up and the play it obviously. So I take my morning tablets, which I have two different ad me tablets in. I have a so because because I'm trying to get pregnant. That is the one that helps you um maintain a healthy body with vitamins and shit like that. You can't really get into account now. And then this is my ovulation tablet, which is the one I need to take more than this one. This one is in there for next week because I go up to them eventually because they do generally make me sick. However, before I take this tablet. Let's test the sugars, because if the sugars are high, I need to take the other tablets in there. And even without taking, even if it wasn't really nice, really, you should take it anyway. But, you know, sugars is the main priority. Nickel prices. I know I'm probably going to get messages in a minute. Um, because my personal phone is here, I will probably end up getting a message from someone. They will probably get ignored, because, you know, they're busy. Um, they're probably just doing, they're probably just doing something that they don't want to tell me. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Anyway, um, moving on. I've realised over the last 24 hours that life is like on a and If you want peace, you do what you do. You have to do what you need to do. To get peace, you need to, you know, stop letting everyone around you tell you how to be, how you, how you want to live, you know, the normal shit. However, I have thrown my routine out of the book and I have done it several times in the last week. That's the camera now. And, um, you know, I don't sit here and blame other people for my mental health. I don't really don't have the energy to blame people when in reality I can generally just blame her. Mm -hmm. No normal, so that's, that's a bonus. So they haven't been like this in months. Um, even with the medication, which is why I'm making a blood test in a couple of weeks to see if I can try it on anything else that can help it. Now it's time to take my medication. Ooh, my Snapchat. Um. So, and a lot of you are aware, um, I have someone in my life at the moment that is saying that they're busy. And the problem is, is I know that they're probably just going to be doing stuff. Anyway, I'm going to take my medication, and then we'll get on with the day.
So that was incredibly horrible. Um, I have all the side habits nine times out of ten. So hello, sticky boy. I'm gonna probably feed my cats first. So let's go into the kitchen and do that shit first, and then we're going to have a shower. So I'll be back once I've had the cats. So I'll be back once I've had a shower. Come on. I'm gonna have that. I just got in the shower. I'm thinking of just changing into my leggings, but I do have other clothes that I can change into if I'm running out. I don't think I'm going out today. Not unless my sister wants me to go out hers. So, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my ear, is I just had a shower. This is obviously okay, I need a good one. I'm literally now about to get ready and. Yeah. Alright, so I'm um, I have my rings on this little tray. Um, I have some bracelets that I will generally wear at some point. Um, I don't really have an issue with anyone seeing what I do with my rings, but you're going to see certain rings that I've never really worn before. And those are just because these rings are actually different and I've only just got the recent ones. So, I have one of my witchcraft, which goes on this one. I have my main engagement ring, which is my only engagement ring now. I will be the only engagement ring until something happens wrong. I have my ring that says another facility, which is what my sister gave me to replace a certain ring that I can't get back, but I'm not really wanting to get it back because there's really no point. Um, a memory that I don't want to remember. So yeah, that goes on that hand. And then I have my Disney, which goes on this finger. my amethyst which goes on this finger. I also have a couple of bracelets that I generally wear. I do have one bracelet I don't wear anything because it's a very dangly bracelet. So bearing in mind I'm taking my new tablets and all this shit and obviously my health I'll probably do this first. Oh, Normally when I log into my PC I get tons of emails, tons of messages and that's basically what I get on a daily basis. Um, a lot of my friends don't realise that actually working from home isn't as easy as it looks. And, um, yeah, it's just what it is. Um, anyway, let's get back into it. Mm. I had my nails done less than a couple of days ago. I'm currently um, looking at a different design. Or why not next get them done? It could be next month. It could be this month. It could be next month. It could be whenever I actually decide to fucking get them redone. However, the person that paid for them beforehand was amazing but then he shoots let's just leave us that um i love her dearly but you know we move on constantly so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to do updates and care plans because this is what i do on the days that i don't have client calls or anyone if anyone calls me they generally can't find my personal phone because they know the days that i'm locked so you know until i get a vlog camera it'll be on my work phone um I've had a couple of emails come through which indicates that there are some new clients coming in and there are some new clients I think my um, team told me that there was so let's get into that and get that sorted and then I will turn to the nurse. Um, but yeah, I am talking to a couple of people, I am friends with a couple of people, I am also looking into getting pregnant this year, hopefully at the end of next year. Um, so, fortunately for us, um, IVF is out the window, so it is trying naturally, which is actually something that me and my partner both really want to do. Um, 
I just wanted to say, um, we have someone that is willing to help, so we're keeping them private up until we, until they give us the, um, permission, but I will upload the Bubba when Bubba's here, and when I am here, because you'll get a notification. Okay, no, I didn't know I had that, okay, right. Awesome. Um, to also talk about mental health. Mental health is a condition that I do think a lot of people are aware of and are not really understanding there's different ways of people cope with mental, their mental health. Some people cope brilliantly with just the support that they have. Or there's others that can't exactly, you know, be there from people because they don't have the energy to do so. Anyhow, if you are someone that is currently struggling with the fact that, you know, your health is taking a toll, then we would precisely and say you need to do this, this and this, and do it, you know. But anyhow, that is some of the things that I, these are some of the things that I think are relevant for people who are in a very depressive, I struggle with my routine, especially when I'm in a depressive moment, or when I'm in an episode, or in general when my health is kicking my ass. Which happens pretty much all the time. All the goddamn fucking time, my, uh, my body is kicking my ass. But, there are times where I realise, actually, I can do this. And that, sometimes, it isn't worth it. I've got my screen behind you, which has the information that I need to put on the care plans, on the side of care plans. So this is a certain client that's recently joined, and I have to do the care plan so that we can get the right support for them, we get them the right help. We we do actually limit ourselves with the clients. I do deal with a lot more clients than most people here, because I work more than most of here. And because, you know, some of us don't have the energy, or some of us don't have the patience. But I love this job, and I'm going to check the world, like, I'll do this all over again if I have to. Um, yeah. My bed doesn't want to work. Well, well. It is actually a really difficult to type with nails. If you're not used to it, don't get little nails. <laughs> that, that, that's a fact. Especially when you've got skinny pens like this. Where are my fat pens? <laughs> that sounds really harsh to say. Um, but yeah, we have clients that are in the center. Give me a moment. I'm going to go quiet because I'm reading. Mental health can destroy anyone with anything. And <clears throat> when you suffer with mental health and you have the episode, or even if you're trying to get out of that episode, or you try to get out of the depressive phase, and it is really difficult, you can remember your goal. And if that person doesn't take the time of day to be there for you and support you through that, then they're not worth it either. Um, Just know your worth. Yeah, know your worth. Know your. Health predictions. Know your limits as well. That's a big tip thing about um, going into a routine or dealing with other people. Is knowing your limits and learning the limits that you have for yourself. Okay. 
You need to move the back in the background. It's my tumble dryer. And I have my washing machine and my tumble dryer going off at the same time because obviously I have tons of laundry and I have things to do this week. I have. I say tons, it's just a little bit as well because we've literally just found recently. And obviously, I have been very mentally unstable. I have thrown my room clean out the window for people who aren't worth my fucking time. So, I get back into the vlog. Nice work. <coughs> we work seven days a week, normally. Not all of us, only some of us. I work pretty much whenever I'm going to be asked, hypothetically, but I work majority of the days in bed or on my personal home because sometimes sitting at the PC does drain my head and it does give me headaches, especially when I'm not drinking enough. I'm making a common thing for me. Why do you not know, just dismiss you for a moment? Do you know what, I'm reading it in the um, information that I get daily. And there's a lot of people out there that do struggle with the challenges, ooh, hello, my scars, um, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, when you sit there and you can physically relate to them, <coughs> you kind of realise, actually, people find themselves in a sticky situation. And if you've been in that sticky situation, or you've had the mentality, what the fuck are you? If you had the mentality to understand that, you know, life is recharging, life throws shit at us, and we don't deserve that. But sometimes that is just how life goes. And my PC is not like being born today. Um, what the fuck are you doing, PC? Yeah, so this is literally someone's care plan, it's one of them that I have to numerous other ones that I have to do but you know sometimes limiting yourself to one or two or three or, or four a day it, you're just limiting your power because sometimes you're overdoing things and then you realize you're overdoing it and then it gets you down <coughs> so while well, I take a little minute of pause just to talk to you guys a little bit about the company so we work from our own room and eventually we'll probably get offices for the people that can go into the office and work but realistically these are for people that can't go out and physically go to an office because one I prefer work from home and especially if you've got children especially when you've got a health condition and you think your health is going to flare up one day you can stay home say your child is sick and you need to take care of your child or you just don't want to go out you can stay home and work this company supports the LGBT community, mental health, well-being, and we will help anyone that is coming on the streets. I have helped over some people in the last three days. I have helped people mentally and physically, emotionally, and got in help. We help people that are in drug and alcohol, uh, addictions, um, mental health awareness. We, we do all sorts. But we are a, deaf, a deafness community as well, so we welcome anyone with any kind of disability, regardless whether deaf, disabled, this, that, you know, the whack. <coughs> we are a charity base, so we do not ask for money, but eventually when the government gets our funding, we will be funding for things that we need for our company. However, we are now currently looking for more employees. I have over 10 employees at the moment. Still looking for more. <coughs> Volunteering, this is volunteering. 
I'm looking into paid work when I have enough employees and, and clients. It is confidentiality, so I'm the main CEO, but I work with my partner Aiden, and we work together. He is the manager. Well, he does all the admin stuff like I do sometimes, but he does all the care for, he does um, the rotors, he does making sure that the support workers are up to date on their plan, along with they me, us, and Aiden, the information with their clients. Some of our clients, some of our employees actually do more than one job. I'm thinking about me, I'm a support worker and a CEO, and I also do mainly admin work. Admin work is something that I love doing, and it's working on social media, it's doing things on my phone or on the PC, or just in general. Advertisement is something that I do on a regular basis because I do talk about the mental health awareness a lot. I do struggle with mental health myself, so it is. It's finding the balance that matches, and I can actually help people more when I'm okay and when I'm struggling. But I sometimes have to take a step back. Sometimes my clients are very understanding, other times they're not. When you get a client that's very understanding with you, very um, open, very like, okay, let's, let's try this again and we'll work on it. I do need to ring someone actually, so that just reminded me because I think I have an appointment this week. Um, so I'm looking at my calendar as well because I have a calendar that comes up on my PC and that tells me who I'm working with today and who I have today. And let's take that off for a minute. Um, so yeah, so basically we all have conditions that will beneficial you. We also do monthly, weekly and daily check-ins with our employees because one, you want to make sure your employees are okay, you want to make sure your employees are healthy and mentally and all this kind of stuff. Okay, and if they're not, they can open up to you and you mean confidentiality and that is something that I take fucking personally. In my previous jobs I ever worked in, I have got told that I was too slow, I wasn't learning quickly enough, I was too caring, too kind, because I worked in the care industry. However, I actually took the time and energy to sit there and listen to my clients and listen to the patients, listen to everyone that needed me. And there was this one time in a care performance update where I am now, they wouldn't sit with the only person but all she wanted was someone to talk to. I used to do that every time on my lunch break. I used to sit there and I used to listen to her tell me about her days with her husband. And oh my god, I every time I'm in tears. She she repeats it every day because she has dementia. However hang on my messages. Oh, man. I will be showing my partners at some point as well in the vlog if I'm because I'm now gonna be honest, I have people who I'm looking into being with. Um because you know, I'm allowed to do what I want because I need to do what's right for me, not for anyone else, and I'm not gonna put up with anyone's negativity. So the care industry is something that I've always loved from a child. Um, I've also wanted to be a mum for so many years and I'm now finally getting to that because I am trying to get pregnant. Which is why I am on a revelation tablet, which is why I am doing this shit that I do. I say shit, but it's not really shit, but you know. I do the things that I do so that I can have my child. Oh shit. So. When I tell you that, you know, people who suffer with conceiving, I don't suffer with conceiving, but I suffer to carry full term. I can get pregnant like that, stupidly enough. And um, it's really annoying, bearing in mind, and absolutely fucking annoying, but it's worth it. So what I'm going to say to you guys, if you know someone that is currently going through If you know someone that's going through something, but then talk to them. Because that's how you're going to learn, that's how you're going to cooperate with someone. Anyhow, that is going to be 
the end of this part of my vlog. There will be another vlog, probably. I don't know when, but I need to go and miss my sister as soon as she washes me up. So I hope you all have a good day.